All right, what's up everyone? Duquesne23 here and we're here with another Fan Mail Friday with my lovely wife. Hello. That doesn't like me in the Lego Hobbit uh, video. No. She's so mean to me that. You have to watch that. <laughs> She's so mean. She no, makes fun of me. She laughs at me. He's just weak. Also, talking about videos that y'all gotta go see. Most people really like my slender one that I posted on this channel like pretty long time ago. Um, but I am doing on Duquesne Plays, I am uploading videos of Among the Sleep. It's a scary game where you're like a two-year-old kid and you're walking through. It's so creepy. It is so creepy. I don't and like it. Like there's, uh, there's been one main time where I've really like jumped and stuff because something popped out and I like actually jumped back and stuff. Uh, but y'all should go check that out, Duquesne Plays. I'll put a link to it uh, in the description and stuff. Definitely check it out. I and think it's pretty hilarious. Now play it alone. Now play it alone night. at night and stuff, I'm so shocked. it makes it even more scary. Whoo! I hate scary games, but I like scary games because the like adrenaline, you know, you get from it. Mm -hmm. But I hate it because I get scared, you know. I don't like it. Uh, and of course, a lot of people, they, you know, the my subscribers, I remember the, the slender thing. They loved watching me like play the scary stuff. I was gonna have nightmares but, just from the preview. Yeah, because I showed her the trailer of it, and she was freaked. Uh, but okay, so let's go ahead and get on into this. And the first question is by uh, Sushi King. And I think he's new. I, yeah. I've never heard that one. I, don't uh, think. I think he's new. So, uh, welcome. If yep. you Sushi in. King asks uh, Hiya, Duquesne and Lady Duquesne. Uh, what is your most memorable theme song to a game? And mm -hmm. could you attempt to whistle it? Uh, <laughs> Very nice series. I enjoy watching every week. Thank oh, you for yay. watching. So he's not. Yeah. New. Well, he's new. Maybe what, he's new to asking well, a question. New to ask. I, I think he's, he's new to asking new a to question. Viewing. Yeah. Okay. So. So favorite theme song to a game. You know, I, it would have to be Halo. Like really, I, I would think like because we were just talking about this like the other day. Okay. You know, whistle just it. whistle it. <laughs> Not so, bad, not there bad. There we go. Um, my most memorable, is that what it says? Most yeah, memorable? most memorable. Mine would be the, is it, is it, uh, is it Super Mario World 3? Is that Yoshi's? Would it be? Oh, what is that? I can't whistle. She can't whistle. Like, she can't. She goes, do, 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 do. No, 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 no. What I don't know go? how it goes. Do, 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 It's. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that one. Was, or, that, was that the one that I used to have? I think I used to have that as an alarm on my on my cell phone. Maybe and that's why it's so memorable because it's stuck in it's my stuck brain in your head. Every but I was uh, I was also thinking for you and also a very memorable theme song is the Tetris. You know. Tetris. Uh, yeah. Whistle it. She can't whistle. She can't. <laughs> yeah, she can't whistle at all. Uh, but there's also another song. I can't think of it in my head. Um, like, I can't think of how it goes in my head. But it's from Beyond Good and Evil. Kind of the ending of it. Uh, there's a music that plays. And I, I know, like, it is, is one it, of is those. Is it a theme song, though? There is, a, or is it just yeah, a song in the game? No, well, I think it's actually in the title scene too. Like, but it's it's just, well, it's still it doesn't necessarily. Well, it says theme it's song to him. song. Yeah, but I don't know. Like, you could also, cause there could be, it, depending I'm to think on of Donkey Kong. Yeah, um, I can't remember how Donkey Kong goes. See, so it must not be as but memorable. The deal is, yeah, but this one I can't think of how it goes. But I remember how impactful it was in the game, and that song seriously has stuck with me, like as Apparently one of the not. what? No, not the actual song. Like I can't remember yeah. it. Well, there's a lot of stuff, well, you know, that I can't so remember. So it wouldn't count because he wants to know the most yeah. memorable. But I am, I will play like a little clip of it or something if I remember, okay. just so I get it because I can't. I I have to show it to y'all. Be careful, like, you don't want to you know, copyright. It won't. Like it's, <laughs> if it's just a little okay. clip, you're good there.
the next question comes from uh, Dan the Dino, which do you think? I think he's new too. Yeah, I don't think I right? recognize that. I don't either. think I recognize it. So we got Dan two the Dino. new people. Welcome. Nice. Okay, so um, hey, what's your favorite Spartan armor in the Halo games? Uh, is yours the one? What do we call it? The the O face with the, the O. Ah. Uh, where it looks like it has. Yes, it is looks that like what a Chinese it's supposed man. Supposed to be though. It looks like a Chinese don't, man. Don't be. It's so horribly racist. Don't be but racist. I'm not trying to be racist, it but has, it, it like it looks like the typical Japanese, like the Mies, like on. Right, now Wii. you're saying Japanese. Those are two totally different Asian, things. Asian, fine, Asian and man. You're really gonna whatever. Some yeah, people. I'll mess. Up. Um, um, yeah, but, it does. Well, look no, like, like the if you Mies. look like the Mies and stuff, like a lot of times they make those same faces, yeah. or even in like even it in has, like some sort of anime thing. Like you know, like all the Japanese style I don't know anime. The name of the armor. Uh, I don't know the name of the armor. I can't remember the name of it either. Is this supposed to look like a face? Huh? Uh oh, air conditioning. Oh, you you keep talking about that. Is this supposed to look like a face, or is it, or does it um, just happen to look like a face? I think it is supposed to. It is. Yeah. But uh, I think that's it, isn't like, that your favorite? Yeah, I do love that one. Um, but I don't know, like the. Thing is, though, like, I have always loved just Chiefs, you know, like, even each iteration of his armor mm -hmm. and stuff, you know, um, just whichever iteration of it, you know, and depending on what game. But I don't know. I really do enjoy that one with that little, that weird face. And I always have it red, like, the course, visor is just, red. Of course, that's just the, the face. I guess it's well, not yeah. the complete armor. But... Um, yeah, I don't really know what else the champion one i can't you remember probably, what it's called you don't have cool, a favorite on the just, yeah i don't necessarily have favorite like i like the helmets moment, and stuff yeah. i don't necessarily have favorite for the armor like the legs and you as know as long as it's like, purple i'm good yeah that's what hers okay. yeah so that that I, I i'll try to remember i'll try to look it up before this and i'll probably pop up something if i remember i sometimes i forget to you know uh, do stuff on here i'll try to remember all right so um runner 3600 uh, Never heard that one either. Yeah, he was on the last one. Remember that was the one? That was the one where I had to change because he accidentally made his email his username. Do you remember that? Mm, I had to change I it. Saying something. Um, but yeah, that was on the last one. Okay. Um, but uh, he says I have three questions. Okay. Uh, twelve. <laughs> it starts off. Number I have 12. three qu questions. Number twelve. Okay. Um, what is Aiden's favorite activity? Ooh. Uh, like I don't know if we can. I could can answer we, for him reading books. Reading books. <laughs> I don't think, yeah, I don't think we can really show that too much, I guess. Like, how would you show activity? Like, put a car on the I ground, a book put, on the ground? Yeah, you could put toys in a book. But the deal is, though, he, he still is very into his yeah. trucks. But and he, he loves really loves trucks. to read. Like, oh I mean, gosh. throughout the day, like, you don't He's understand. We have, book? we have, book? like, we probably have, like, 50 books or something of his mm -hmm. and everything. And every single day, I he pretty much pull out about of 40 of those books because I'll pull out at like a group of 10 and, you know, put them there. And so he will get up there, start reading them and stuff, and we'll look at them and everything. Once he's done with it, he goes straight back to his room door and book? just stands at the door and just goes book, book. Because he doesn't and, want to read the same ones yeah, over again. He doesn't want to read the no, same one over again. The other one. And the deal is I could bring out 10 more and mix them in with the books that we've already read. He picks out the ones that he knows he's already read and he does not choose those. And he reads the ones he hasn't read yet. Yes, and then he, he goes knows. back to the door and we pull out so many books and our floor is just scattered with books. Yeah. And even, you know, even whenever we go outside, there's been times where we've taken books outside. And even though he could play outside, which he loves playing outside, he'll sit outside he'll sit in the patio chair and, just and he'll read, read his books. A book. Yeah. He, love his, he loves his books. So maybe Talk instead, about maybe books. instead of getting him to choose his favorite activity, yeah. you could just maybe you could just show a little segment of him of him reading, reading books. books. I could do a uh, yeah. picture montage because I know we have some pictures of some stuff. Oh, I was gonna but, say a little video. Well, yeah, but, or a video, whatever. Yeah. But um, talking about books I, though, I how, did you how hear? You did that. I tell you? Um, reading Rainbow. You know they did that Kickstarter uh, to bring it back. I think I told mm -hmm. you about that. Uh, but it actually got funded and everything so, oh, okay. so they're gonna be back. bringing Re reading rainbow back which that's awesome with lavar yeah. burton you know yeah that's the, so, that's the best part yeah so the original um you know thing yeah I, I can you think of any other way to have him choose his favorite activity i don't think they're really you would have to go outside 
with his trucks and his boats yeah. and see what he goes to. But it, that can also just depend books, on what he feels like just then. At that moment. You know, because he could already been like, no, I don't, I don't feel like reading a book right now because I just went outside and I want to go run around yeah. outside. Yeah, you know? it'll be hard to do. But yeah, so we'll just, I'll just do something Figure of him something reading out. books or whatever. All right, now we're going to do Aiden's favorite. This is book is called Baby Babble. No, sit up there, Aiden. Sit up there. Sit up. Yeah, go sit up there. We'll read. Aiden, do you want to read? Look. Come on. What, once I turn on the camera, all of a sudden you don't want to? He was all excited and he jumped up on the couch to read. Yeah. Yeah, you were. Here. Here. Come on. All right, let's read. Here you go. Yeah, baby Babble. Banana. Oh, yeah, is that a banana? Apple. Apple. Good job. <gasps> that's a bowl. Boom. That's a brush. or is, No, that's a spoon. I'm sorry. You got it right. That's cheese. Daddy? That's cheese. Daddy? That's, that's not daddy. That's cheese. Cheese? <laughs> yeah, cheese. All right, what's this? Baby? Yeah, baby. What is this right here? Is that a bottle? Bubble? Yeah. What's this? What is it? Yeah, that's a bunny. Is that what the bunny does? It wiggles its nose? Okay, let's let's see the next one. Wow. Yeah, that's a bear. Ball? Ball. Yeah, that's a doll. What's this? What is that? Baby? Yeah, baby. What are you, what are these? Blocks? Blocks. And what is that? Choo choo. Yeah, choo choo. That's a train. Here's a puzzle. Bubble. Yep. Bubble. Let's go to the next page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are cars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a bicycle. Yeah, that's a boat, and boat goes toot toot. Is that a plane? No, that's a plane. <laughs> Planes don't say toot toot. Here, let's go to the next one. Yeah, that's a house. Good job. Are you going to the next one already? Yeah, there's a book. What are those? Shoes. Yeah, shoes. Shoes. Yep. What are these? Sock. Yeah, socks. Box. Yeah. And then, who's this? Baby. Is that a baby? Baby. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's a panda bear. Yeah, and that's a bunny. Good job. He making the faces for the bunny. Yeah. Good. That's a shirt right here. There we go. All done. Good job. Do you like reading? Yeah? You're slobbering all over the place. Yeah, that's what you get teething. But Aiden, say bye-bye to everyone. Aiden, say bye-bye. Wave. Bye. -bye. Yeah. But, um, question number 33. Question number 33. <laughs> um, what is your favorite RPG? So, Destiny. <laughs> you, know the first, uh, you know the first thing I think about whenever I, I hear RPG? Huh. Because it's actually in the title of the game. Isn't that Mario, Mario Seven RPG? Lives? Or what, is, what is it called? Seven, yeah. No, Seven but then You can't say seven, favorite, no. Seven, no, no, it's not. That's the thing, cause it's like a turn-based. Yeah. I don't. I don't really like but, that. But, well, what? Not our RPGs are turn-based. Well, I know that's why. That's why I was like, Fable okay, is I an RPG. I can't think those are the same. And so. I would have to say, I don't know. Like, um, there's Skyrim and things like that and everything, but Skyrim and Fallout and everything like that. Like, it to me, 
I just the way it feels, I don't like it as much as things like Fable. You know, I love the way Fable mm-hmm. feels. Even though Fable 3 and things like that were way too easy, a lot of issues with the game, I still love the like the story of it. I I love the like the surroundings mm-hmm. and stuff. I, I was actually about to say I I don't really play many RPGs, but just sitting and watching, I would have to say Fable because the music Oh, the music the scenery, and Fable. The story, there you go. Yeah, I the mean, music, that's a the unbelievable amazing. theme. I mean, you know? I could sit there and watch that for much longer than, that's, than something. You know, like, I love which Fallout. The uh, you know? Fable theme, the bum bum, bum bum, bum bum bum, bum 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 bum. You know, da 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 but but you know there's not really any music. There it's, well there is but it's well, not like it's not uh, they don't really have they have like uh how would you say it like old timey music in there. Yeah. Um it's the not scenery, like a themed like music old-timey, like what well, yeah but it's but not it's like not, a themed music like like going for its own style of thing. And then like, and you know and it's all desert it's, it's all. Well, it's all deserted, like, and everything, yeah. like, and that's the problem. That's my biggest problem. But I, fi- I do find it and interesting. And I love very fantasy style stuff. That's one reason why I like Fable more than like Skyrim, because why did you say Destiny? That hasn't even come out. Yet. I know it's just you can't because. Say it, that. But the deal is though. That's oh, why I like Fable no. more than Skyrim, because Skyrim is, even though it is fantasy and stuff, it looks very realistic. You're forgetting one. Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead. That's up there. Yeah, but I don't know if it beats Fable, but it might no. be number two, because it no. it beats Borderlands and Fallout. Yeah, yeah. It beats all those. But no, I wouldn't say. So no. would, so wouldn't you say Fable and then Red Dead? Would you even consider Red Dead or RPG though? Because I don't you? think you, I don't think you level up. That's the, just do you level up and? Mm. Well, no, I think you do level up some of your skills, like your if you shoot a bunch and stuff. I don't know. So would that but, would that be the order? Um, Fable and then probably Fable Red is my Dead? favorite RPG, and that's think, why I'm excited about Fable Legends. And you think Red Dead would be second? I don't probably. know. I don't know if I it would be second. You love that game. I know, but it's I an amazing still amazing game, and it's got good music too. Oh, excellent music. Okay. But okay, so question number forty-two: um, What is your favorite oldish game? Uh, any game that came out before the 360 and PS3. So on the original so, Xbox, original That's why they said old-ish. PS2. So, PS2. Yeah, also. I would say my favorite game to watch you play would probably be Ratchet and Clank on the PS2. Yeah, Ratchet and Clank was pretty fun. Um, favorite game for me to play would might be either Bomberman on the Super Nintendo or Donkey yeah. Kong. Yeah. Donkey Kong Country. Um, so here's the list. Um, old-ish game. Um, I don't know what my favorite is because it's very hard to pinpoint a favorite mm-hmm. you know um and naturally things like halo and stuff but i don't want to go too much of yeah. just the typical um shadow that's of colossus yeah on ps2 that's good um that's amazing all the ratchet and clank stuff mm-hmm. uh then also um psycho knots on the original xbox beyond love that game beyond good and evil on the original xbox um if you were to have to pick one would it be beyond good and evil if if you had if you ruled out Halo, I don't know. Shadow of Colossus was really good. Even it was Better weird. Than Beyond Good and Evil, maybe not. But the deal is, it was weird. Shadow of Colossus is really strange. The world is kind of bland. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a lot of riding your horse yeah. to the next point. There's not, but much, there's something. There's, not much around. there's just something about like the ambiance of the game, the music mm-hmm. involved with it. You know, and just the fighting, fighting the massive. Mm-hmm. You know. Uh, what did you say, Colossus, you know, things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, or would you say plural Colossi, you know, or whatever? I don't know. I'm just, Colossuses? Uh, <laughs> mongoose? But, mongoose? Anyway. It's mongoose. We're not going there. It's mongooses. Even Bungie um, and 343 confirmed that. Um, you know, I guess I can't roll out like all the Marios. Yeah. And I think Super Mario World 3. Yeah. But I don't know, Donkey Kong Country's Bomberman. I don't know. Yeah, so... It's hard to pick a favorite. 
But yeah, yeah, watching you play would probably be Ratchet and Clank. I loved that. Yeah, game. there's there's a lot of really good stuff. But I didn't really play it. See, I started off with the Xbox. Yes, I played some stuff previous to that. Uh, like you know, like I played on the PS One, and I even played on N sixty four and things like that. But I really started playing a lot because I played all those at my friend's house. But I actually my first console was the Xbox whenever it first came out, and so that's the reason why like a lot of my favorite games started mm -hmm. like with the Xbox and stuff. Um, but yeah, so number 57, number 57, he says Aiden is adorable, which is not a so, question, not a question, but it is a fact. It is a fact. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, all right. So the next question comes from Billy self. That's new. Billy self, yeah. I believe that's well, new well, also. So man, new. we got a lot of new people in oh, this one. Oh, and he says he's new. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm a new subscriber. Awesome. So not just a new person on this site, yeah, but a new subscriber to too. Channel. And yeah. I love your channel. My games I'm looking forward to are from Xbox, uh, Phantom Dust announcement, and rare uh, title being made. Uh, that would be nice. Yeah, to have any a rare, rare title or any rare title. Um, anything Halo related, of course. Uh, and then he says bonus. As a wild prediction, I'm predicting that Microsoft makes an announcement uh, with a merger with Nintendo. Mm -hmm. That would be great. Like, I would be happy if M Nintendo had, like, a merger with anyone. Like, you know, either let Sony or, you know, Microsoft. I, I would be ha more happy of Microsoft because I have an Xbox and stuff. But the deal is, I think, I think Nintendo needs to stop with consoles. Not with handhelds. Not with handhelds because they dominate the handheld market. Mm. Like that's what they're. They need to stop with the consoles because their consoles. Whenever they come out with a new one, it's so far behind the but it's, new but ones I of the love next. It. And I, and I just I've loved well, Nintendo since the beginning. There still and I've will always be Nintendo, Nintendo though. I know, but you wouldn't have Nintendo if I wasn't here because you would not, not buy the Wii and the Wii U. What do you mean? I had Nintendo before yeah, you. Yeah, but you, I'm saying you wouldn't buy the. But you wouldn't have it now. I grew up with the original Nintendo, with the Super Nintendo. Then we got the Nintendo Wii. Now we have Nintendo Wii U. I don't know. Like I. Did you, no. I no. Don't know. Come on, come on, Jennifer. You would still to, be perfectly happy if they came out with all the mario donkey kong all that stuff on the xbox you would be know, perfectly it happy be the same as yes, it being, would. Being you're right sta a it, you're right company. it wouldn't be the same and it would be better because of the fact then you have achievements uh, the xbox live aspect or a psn aspect of the entire thing of connecting and playing with other people you don't think they would, would be so much better i have a, i have a feeling they no. would i don't know rare look at rare and stuff uh like they what what was rare you know like weren't they originally a nintendo thing well, I know, right. I know Rare was then, developed uh, like Banjo Donkey Kong. And stuff. Yeah, like, and then they moved to multi-platform, which I guess they didn't have a console. A better example yeah, is Sega. That's not. Sega. Sega had the Sega Genesis. Yeah, but that was never and really that big. It was, it was still Sega Genesis was popular. Not that popular. But it was still popular. The whole thing is, though, they moved to just making games and stuff. And now, like... It, to me, that was a good I move. Mean, the controls would be different. I feel like the controls would be if exactly they were to merge the same. With Microsoft, Microsoft could could the controls would be exactly the same. Things. I don't How would know. the controls be different? What do you mean? It would be a different controller. You'd be playing it on the Xbox controller. It would be the same though. Each button is the I same. Don't know. If you look at that gamepad right now, it has a A X Y and B on it. Guess what an Xbox has? Yeah, A X Y and B. But it but it's different. No, it's not. It's that gamepad has bumpers and it has triggers, just like an Xbox controller and a PlayStation controller. I don't know how I feel Everything's about this. Everything's exactly no, the same. I don't know. Yes, it is. I would like it because then we you, wouldn't have to stop it. What about would, the Wiimote? I would like it. What about the Wiimote? That's majorly different. And yes, you, and I love the Wiimote. Okay, that's different. That was different yes, from the original that's Nintendo what I'm controller. Saying. But, but what I'm Look at saying, the N64 controller. Is, that was extremely it's different. It's taking away Nintendo's creativity to make their own stuff, to be a standalone company. And that's their biggest their problem. They, they try to go too much. I and think I understand. they're innovative. They are. I like innovation Nintendo. is not always good, though. Innovation is not. Look at the Virtual Boy. That's the freaking VR headset that bombed. Okay, Mr. Game Theory. Yeah. Watch Game Theorist. He's awesome. Matt Pat. I still love my Nintendo. But no, no. The thing is, though, yes, they're innovative, just, but they cannot, you know, they they can't keep doing this because every single one of the, yes, they had a lot of money that went into the Wii. 
like that, like actually, like people bought tons of Wii's and stuff, and they made a lot yeah, of money. Yeah, remember how many? T- how, yes. how many times and you we know went the, to GameStop early in the morning yes. before they and opened the, and tried to Do you remember? One? Do you remember how many games people were like, "Oh my gosh, these were amazing games on the Wii." Like, there's only still a few select, like uh, the typical ones, like Mario and Donkey Kong and you know Zelda and stuff like that. Besides Wii Sports. Wii Sports is one of the few deals which came bundled with it, but that's... I would have purchased a Wii just for Wii Sports because it was such a fun game and it worked perfectly with the You would deals. not have purchased yes, a console for one I purchased the, I purchased uh, the Wii U for you, but it's pretty much for Donkey Kong and Mario. Well, and Zelda. Those are three games. Yeah, but there was no Zelda really come out yet, which I purchased the Zelda Wind Waker edition. Just, and now didn't but Mario Kart come out? We just don't have it Yes, yet. we don't have it, but... I'm gonna be seeing. I'm. I'm gonna hope Nintendo will let me put that. The, up the on thing. The, the thing is, I. One reason why I would like if they did something like that is I don't like to spend money, so mm. I, I would no longer have to buy new consoles yeah. every time Nintendo came out with a new console. But I don't know. I just feel like it might it would, mess with the integrity of, of no, what they do. But no, I could be wrong. the thing is, they're going downhill with what they're doing. They bombed on their Wii U console because of the fact that they came out with it and is equal to PS3 and Xbox 360. They need to allow people to make YouTube videos. Yes, that is another. That would bring up their yes. That would bring up their sales. Is if they let people make YouTube, not this not this dumb thing, not this dumb thing that they're doing now, where you know they take like a cut of the money. You know, like if you get, you have to be partnered with Wait, Nintendo well, no, or something like that. And that. They, they just, they don't allow anybody, just well, anybody. They this, should just allow just anybody. Well, yeah, to I upload. know, like how anyone, like how any of the well, yeah, Microsoft any other and all game, them do. anybody can upload. But with Nintendo, you have to have and a, a yeah. partnership with them. You can't just upload their stuff, monetized or not. Yeah, and, and it's that so doesn't dumb. make sense to me because there's free advertisement right there. Yeah. There's people who it's are okay. to get on a game and, and I, play it and say, this is fun. And I and think it's okay to say news. you're not allowed to just upload cutscenes. That's okay. Cause that's actually something. And I know in like, I think Microsoft and Sony, they don't allow people to just upload cutscenes. Not at least anyone, not you know, really. like you can do a walkthrough of the game and it mm-hmm. includes the cutscene, but you can't just upload like the ending cutscene sequence of a game, yeah. you know, or something like that. Um, which yes, which that's still understandable. That's fine. Well, I don't something. know, but, but yeah, so but stuff like that, and then and you know, I've heard it suggested like, what if they go to like mobile, you know, like they have apps or like games on the on the iPhones and stuff yeah. like that. They would make money doing that, and that yeah. would help them out. Yeah. Well, let's we'll hope. Know? I mean, there's other ways that they can survive. Yeah. And and you know, do better. Yeah. Business wise. Let's, let's just hope. Um, but okay, and he says, and Fallout 4 announcement, um, and being exclusive to Microsoft, uh, hey, I said wild prediction. So, is it Fallout's not already exclusive? Fallout 4, I don't, well, no, Fallout 4, uh, I don't know, I don't remember, Wasn't but whatever. The, uh, weren't the last Fallouts, they were all exclusive? I don't know, I don't no. remember. Okay. Uh, that's why I said I don't remember. Okay. But, um, and then he says, what, uh, games are you guys looking forward to at E3 and a wild prediction? Mm-hmm. Uh, wild prediction, which is not really too wild because it's been rumored. Uh, but the chief collection. Oh, I was gonna Master say wild chief prediction of Beyond Good and Evil. Oh, and there you go, be... Beyond Good and Evil. Is too. that a wild prediction? Yeah, I because guess? they showed something like three years ago yeah, or something, ago. and then they haven't showed anything but didn't since then. Somebody say something? Uh, or didn't not really. Something there, there's a leak thing where... that showed it on there, but yeah. everyone's like. We don't know if that's true yeah. or just someone so just we'll, wrote we'll something. We'll call down. that our wild prediction, yeah. and that's also what I'm looking forward to is if they did something. Yeah, with Beyond Good and Evil. it would be Beyond Good, good and game. Evil. Destiny. I want to see actual wheeled vehicles in Destiny. I'm tired of just looking at hovering vehicles. Uh, they're cool, but I want wheeled. Yeah. Um, and the crew, and of course Halo Five Guardians and stuff like that. All Halo stuff. All right. So your next question uh, is from Captain Curlio, and he asked, uh, "What is your favorite video game quote?" uh from uh what game is it from and who says it mine is in the signature below the arbiter says in halo 2 and his quote is if they came to hear me beg they will be disappointed Hmm. um i don't know i don't i don't really remember dialogue that well video game chief um i need a weapon (laughs) uh that's a good one that's a good one um, wake me when you need me. Wake me when you need I me. I like that one. That one's pretty good too. Uh, but I was trying to go away from Halo. Yeah, but I don't really else. know. I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know. 
I don't know. I like. I don't remember what does, dialogue. What does that Marsden? Well. Is that his last name? Marsden. Marsden. John Marston. Marston. What does he say at the end? Right before. I don't want to say spoiler. What get busy living, get busy dying. Is that no, what I'm he says? Kidding, no. What does he say? That's from uh, Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> Another good movie yeah. quote. Um, he says something I thought there at the end that was real, you know. Yeah. What? <laughs> um, uh, I, 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 I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I don't really, like, I don't really remember, like, dialogue that well, you know, from movies. Besides... Stuff like from Halo because I play it so much. Yeah, so you, you know? hear it over and over. And the wake you wake uh wake me when you need me like type of thing because that was all over like Halo Four stuff like they always put that quote yeah. everywhere you know and everything. I mean, really, yeah, like you said, if you don't watch it more than once, it, it it's yeah. you usually don't remember that stuff. I mean, like yeah. it's great the first time you hear it, but you don't usually recall it later on. Or um, if something like. There hasn't really been anything that really has grasped me too much, like somewhat recently, um, like to where I can remember something besides the Cortana and Chief thing at the end of it where she's dying. Oh no, you like that one that she she told she said that to me once. Well, I know that's what I'm me, saying with Cortana and Chief, like all that. What did stuff. he What did he say about? It was Lasky. He was talking with Lasky. Yeah, and, and Lasky he said, said something. Lasky said something like, you're like, not a machine? Yeah, he said something like, uh, or, you're not, yeah, he said like, you're not a machine. And then Chief goes, she said that to me once. That got to you. Yeah. You like that. That quote. was, yeah, that was pretty strong. That's why I don't get why but people don't like the Halo 4 campaign. But that's not really a standalone quote. Like, the Halo 4 campaign is so gripping. Yes, maybe the action... Or, you know, some of the levels aren't as good as some previous levels. But the plot, but the plot and the, like, cutscenes and the music involved with it. Some people don't like the Halo 4 music, which I still don't get. It's still good music. Not as good, Halo as, music. Not as, good as Marty O'Donnell. All because, you know, Marty O'Donnell did the, you know, typical iconic Halo music. Mm -hmm. But it's not as good as that. But I still think it's good music. Yeah. You know? Well, uh, whenever a game gets put up so high on a pedestal, yeah, like especially that, with the music, everything just like, kind of falls short. Yeah. After that. So, but yeah, you know? that's you know, I don't know. We yeah, we don't really know. It's like John stuff, but, Williams, you know, yeah. all his music and his movies. Oh my gosh. Nobody can. I mean, yeah. Who can compete? To, yeah, with that. Yeah, John Williams just. Was it into out. that one? Yes. Did we? Um, I guess we really didn't answer it. Well, yeah. Well, we said when you need me. Yeah, wake me when you need me and all that. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I know, I know, I know there's Whatever. some other good ones out there. Um, yeah, but oh well. Um, so Alex J one eight nine says hi Duquesne is and Lady Duquesne. I want to think it is. I think it is. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of new ones in this. Yeah. So that's exciting. awesome. Yeah. Um, hi Duquesne and Lady Duquesne and hey, Aiden. Aiden. Uh, to Duquesne, uh, will you ever forge another race map in Halo Four? I don't know. I'm gonna just say that because I don't want to make any promises of stuff. The the thing is, guys, I don't forge stuff if i don't feel like it you know if i like i don't want to like there's stuff that i've started but i just don't feel like m continuing it because i feel like if i keep continuing it while i don't you know want to forge just then it. yeah i'm forcing it it won't come out as good as what mm -hmm. if i do it if i want to do it it's the same thing with videos that's why i tell people a lot who ask me questions because i just recently had a guy ask me questions you know um, like some advice for YouTube or something, make videos that you want to see, you know, cause if you're forcing something that you don't want to do or whatever, it'll come across that way in the video and people, you won't get as many views on it, you know, stuff like that. Uh, it's the same thing. That's the reason why I don't do destiny news. The reason why is just because I'm excited about the game, but I just don't really like, I'm not that excited to do news about it. You know, and I don't want to do news about it just to get the views, just to get the subscribers. I, I like doing news. That's why I do the Halo news because that's what I enjoy, mm -hmm. you know, and stuff. Um, so it's the same type of deal. Like, I don't want to just do something that I don't feel like yeah. necessarily, you know, doing. So if, if one day if I feel like forging a map, I that's will just, forge it and I'll come like, out with it. That's just like actors and stuff. You don't want you don't want them to, to audition for a, a, role, a role that, that they, they don't. don't yeah. They don't really feel, yeah, you know, connected to, because then it's not going to come across. Well, yeah, it's, it's like it's, it's like going to be forced. Well, and it's, it's gonna, like if an actor auditions for a role, it, and they're going to try to get a role that's something that they don't personally believe in, and mm -hmm. like let it be politics, religion, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, it, think about it. You know, they would know. Like, 
they would come across in their acting that it's like yeah. you don't really you aren't really into this yeah. you know uh and stuff yeah so um but if if i feel like it you know one day i will make one and then you know i'll release a video on it uh, but that's if i actually feel like you know, doing it. All right, so we also ask uh, to Duquesne and Lady Duquesne, what is your favorite Halo 4 race map? And I really don't know. Now, naturally, probably one of mine or something, um, just because. Uh, but th there is one thing that's a really good map. It's called Unorthodox. I just posted it uh, this week. It's a map. It's not my favorite, but it is a very cool map. You should definitely go check it out. Very smooth, like roller coaster. It has cool aesthetics and things like that. It's probably one of my favorite ones in Halo 4. Um, but probably my favorite one is the Star Wars, you know, racetrack. Yeah, the one oh, in Halo 4. Yeah, Halo 4. Halo 4. Yeah. Um, because you know, I was thinking of your, your oh, that's one, in reach. Your one race, uh, I mean, your, your one racetrack revolution, but it's in yeah, reach. Yeah, that's in reach. Because you know, the, the way I see it, there's, there's other tracks that I think are, are more well done and, and are better, but not for me because. The more complex and the harder it is to race, it's not that fun for me because I'm yeah. not good at it. Well, and, we'll also uh, say what's your. Well, we'll say you know what's your favorite one. And on I haven't reach. really raced much in Halo Four. Yeah. But out of the ones I have raced on, your your Star Wars one. Yeah. Because <laughs> I haven't really raced on any other ones. Um, I would have to say though, like if we're gonna go Reach, also my favorite one in Reach is Road Work Ahead. Oh, that's another one. I love that one. Mm -hmm. And that that's one actually one. won some competitions and stuff and everything. And that one, I just love it. It's I, That's probably one of my favorite maps of all time. Probably the favorite map of all time. I, I just love that one. Um, but okay, so then uh, Blue Impulse asks uh, to Lad Duquesne, uh, uh, what is the scariest game you've ever played? And Among the sleep? Probably. No, 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 no. Doom 3. Doom, oh my god. Doom 3 that on the Xbox, scary. the original Xbox, I think it was. Uh yeah. No, Doom 3. I literally whenever like I thought I played for it for like I thought I played it for Wasn't a little that while. Freshman year in college? I don't know, something like that. But I, I thought I played so. for like played it a little while, but I actually realized whenever I No, I went back. I played it before I ever met you and then I went back and played it. Uh, is that right? Yes, because I was like, oh, yeah, I couldn't play it because I was so scary, you know, and stuff. And then I went back, and that's whenever I realized I only got like five or ten minutes into the game, and I quit because it was scary. <laughs> like, I literally so, so couldn't play. So the second play. time around, you played it, played it all the way through? But yeah. You didn't finish it no, I don't then. think I finished it even then. Oh my but I think gosh, I got a little scary. bit farther. You were constantly like turning around, like what was yes, that noise? Yes, and you got to hold up your flashlight, and you got to put it down to bring up your gun. Yeah. Stuff. Ugh. And then there's stuff grabbing you from underneath the stairs. Yeah, no. Oh my gosh. No, that's no. probably the scariest I game. Did, although I didn't play it. I just watched it and Although Among the Sleep is extremely scary too. Uh, probably the scariest so, yeah. game I played might be Slender. Just because so, I just because I don't put myself in the situation to play scary games. Yeah. But you made me play that one. Mm hmm But um Ledette Duquesne, uh, have you ever watched Red vs. Blue? Am I Ledette? Yes. Yes, and I love it. But yeah. but we haven't watched any of the new ones. We haven't. Well, we new one, the new original. ones considered original. The first three seasons. Yeah. Was the original what we watched? We watched. All we that. haven't before watched they, anywhere they past. Got real, what do they before, use now? Now, like CG, well, no, they do a mix. It, they do a mix between yeah, like a computer called, animated like stuff and yeah, CGI. Yeah, we. Did, I haven't watched any uh, of that. Like, well, it's not all CGI. Like, it's also mixed in well, with the normal. I just remember all the ones back whenever that's all they did was yeah. just. And you know, I honest, don't know. It's like I, yeah, I haven't watched any more of the other stuff. I just I just watched the first three seasons and I loved it. The best episode ever. I don't remember which episode it is, but it's whenever they're in Beaver Creek and the Reds and the Blues are going up against each other, and you know they're like you know kill the Blues, kill the, you know or kill the Reds, kill the Reds, and uh, then Caboose like he pops up like Sarge lifts him up over the wall and stuff and caboose looks into you know the window and sarge is like you know what do you see and he's like there's what is he like there's a room and some walls and some ceilings no wait just one ceiling <laughs> you know it, oh my gosh it is hilarious Anything that's probably caboose. that's probably my favorite episode of the entire time and then he's like you know uh whenever the red guy or i forget it's red or blue guy goes you know like you know he 
pulls the flag out mm-hmm. and he's like, you know, you know, I like, I have the flag, I am all power, you know, y'all will bow to me, you know, and then some people are like, it's more beautiful than I ever imagined <laughs> and stuff. And then he gets killed and everyone starts fighting. Oh, it's great. My, my whole thing is like the, all the new ones, all the new stuff. I mean, it looks good. But I don't know. I just I think you kind of lose something whenever you start doing all the computer animation. Yeah. I mean, gosh, those like first you said there was three seasons. Mm-hmm. Those first three seasons where it was just because it's partially it's just them in the game. It's so amazing that you can make something so entertaining without anything like CGI, yeah. without any of they that. They didn't it's, need all that. It's literally all within you know in game stuff. Yeah, and it was great with all that. So I feel like you kind of lose something. When yeah. I, and, like, I've seen, like, bits and pieces, yeah. not a full episode, but I've seen bits and pieces. And to me, I I mean, I'm sure I would still like it, but I don't know. But it is understandable. You can't keep kind of doing the same thing I for know. going for, I think they, they have, like, 10 seasons or they're on yeah, the 11th season they, now. They, they have prog- to do something progress, different. They want to progress, but I, I just feel like yeah. they were just doing so well with the how they were doing it. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I'm sure all the other ones are good, but too. Then he, And we actually, we own... We, yeah, we own, the, we own first the first three, three seasons. seasons. Yeah, um, we, we love those. And then he asked Aiden, uh, "What should your nickname be?" So I guess mm-hmm. I will try to do something with Aiden and the nickname. Tater Tot. Yeah, <laughs> except he won't say that. No. Like he'll just probably make some noise or whatever. Well, <laughs> you know, we'll have I don't to know. See. We'll see. Whatever. Um, Pookie. We call him Pookie. Yeah, we call him Pookie. <laughs> uh, that's a real manly name. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, Aiden. Hey. They want to know what nickname do you want? So you could just say nickname. Which one? What do you want? What nickname? So that's your nickname? It's going to be Vroom Vroom? Even though you're playing with the truck? Sure. That'll be his nickname. <laughs> So now we're to Biowolf. He missed last week's question, uh, so he so did not miss this. He's one. making up for it. Yeah, he's making up for it. Um, he goes, seeing that I didn't ask any questions last week, I figured I would ask two questions each. Thanks, Biowolf. Two long questions. Yeah. Each. Okay, so he goes to Duquesne. Uh, this is from the last Family Friday before E3. Is there any rumor? This is from the last Family Friday before E3. Uh, is there any rumor that you're hoping that will come true at E3? But this won't come out after E3. That's why I'm He's confused. He's saying this is going to the last Fan Mail Friday before E3. Is there any rumor that you're hoping? But this Fan Mail Friday that's coming oh. out right now is still before E3. That's why I'm confused by his question. E3 is, what, two weeks away? No, E3 is next week. So that's what he means. This is the last Fan Mail Friday before E3 because E3 starts next Friday. Oh, Friday. okay. I thought he meant like... Like the last Fan Mail Friday, like last week's Fan Mail Friday, is going and to I was be confused. The okay, last... I was confused. Um, okay, so he says, uh, "What are you hoping? What rumor comes true? Um, and what is your favorite restaurant?" That's what he says for his second one. Um, okay, so my rumor that I think will, I hope that will come true, is the Master Chief Collection. Beyond Good and Evil. I know, but Master Chief Collection. Beyond That's Good every Evil. single game on Xbox One. God. I can finally. I don't have to switch back to Halo Four at uh, 360 to play Halo Four to favorite play restaurant. Reach or any of that. Favorite restaurant. Um. So favorite restaurant is probably. Baytown Seafood. Yeah, Baytown Seafood. Seafood place. It's a seafood uh, place. Really good. It's Huge here. portions. Pretty cheap for seafood. Uh, but huge portions. Really good seafood. Yeah, really good. We're we're close to. Fresh My favorite seafood. is seafood, like the style of food, it, like Mexican food, like seafood. We're, yeah, seafood's your favorite. Like we're we're uh, real close to the Gulf. Yeah. So we get fresh. Yeah, we live in Houston, seafood. so we get good seafood. But yeah, yeah. So to Lady Duquesne, have you ever thought of, on helping your husband create a forge map? I, I wouldn't think, like that. Yeah, I don't think he would want my help. <laughs> There's, he doesn't this is, really like anybody. I don't like help. anyone helping him forge that. This is Biowolf. I, you know, the thing is, and I think I've told you this before, like I know we started that forge map together and we and you keep on being like, oh, well, we got to get back to it. The thing <laughs> is, it's just that I don't like being in a forge map with other people 
because I am very. You can be a little bit of a control freak. Yes, I am. I am. Yes, I am a somewhat of a control freak. With and, stuff like that. Um, and yes, and I am a perfectionist. And the thing is, is I don't want to be, and I'm too nice. Like, I don't want to be mean. Like, if you put something down or whatever, and it's not just right, I don't want to immediately go, like, right behind you and just slightly correct things that, that if they're mean. wrong. And, yeah, and so I wouldn't do that. But yeah. then the entire time I'll be thinking in my head, like, ugh. You know, it's like, like that's like a millimeter off. I really got to <laughs> fix that, you know, and stuff. All right, so the camera overheated, so we're just going to go on to the next question now since it kind of cut us off in the middle and we don't know where it cut us off from um but uh he says for number two for lady decane uh seeing that you work uh what is oh what is oh i don't work oh, okay uh but seeing that you work uh what is the one thing that you look forward to doing after a hard day's work like anyone relaxing oh well, yeah i mean seeing aiden well yeah like my the first thing i want to do when i walk through the door is get my hug from aiden cause and then gets, he, he runs gets, from you yeah he gets excited whenever i come home and he runs up to me like he's going to give me a hug. But, he's, but then he immediately runs away and laughs because he thinks it's yeah, a game playing, to run for yeah. mommy when mommy <laughs> wants to hug him. And so yeah, it's pretty that, funny. that's the first thing I do whenever I come home. So I always look forward to seeing Aiden as soon as I walk yeah. through the door. And um, and gosh, there's so many like TV shows that we've gotten so far behind on and all yeah. that stuff. Of course, with Aiden, you know, I come home and I play and read books and stuff. So, we, you know, it, it yeah. would be nice to like catch up on some of that stuff and, and we do sometimes like during supper or you know but most of the time like we may be watching something he's climbing all over you just trying to play <laughs> yeah and stuff and so he, he doesn't see me all day yeah so, so yeah i guess but, both of those playing with aiden but then also trying to relax him. yeah catch up on some tv or something so then he asked uh to aiden uh which is a better series the hobbit or lord of the rings and number two, what is your favorite toy? We've already done a favorite toy question. Well, he has some new toys. I guess you could try again. What new toys? He He's, got a few cars. He got his new truck. Yeah. It's not going to be something. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not going to say favorite toy just because we've already done that. Like, and we've already done a specific video asking favorite toy. Are you really going to be like that? Do we even have anything to show him The Hobbit or Lord of the Rings? I don't know. If we, we don't have. have the we Hobbit. don't own The Hobbit, so you'll have to come up with something. Lego Hobbit. Yeah. I guess we can do, do that. Lego Hobbit. You can do Lego. Hobbit, I'll do Lego, Lego Hobbit and Lego Lord of the Rings. So it's two so game it's cases. Fair. Yeah. Um. But uh, whatever. I might do a toy deal again. Jeez. Watch the last one's Biowolf. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Aiden. We right now have a question for you for Fan Mail Friday. It is, which is your favorite toy? Now, these are currently the toys he most plays with, so we'll go ahead and find out which one that he likes the most. Now, uh, so here we go. Put him down. There you go ahead and choose yourself a toy. Ooh, it's the big truck. Is that your favorite? Oh, then the little car? Okay. Then the even smaller one. Football. You're just going down the road now, aren't you? The chicken. And then the big old monster truck. Lovely. So now let's go ahead and go to the next question. All right, Aiden. We we have another question for you. Which one do you like better? Hobbit or Lord of the Rings? Oh, it looks like Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings and then Hobbit. So that's what pulls off the win. Yep. Let's pick those up before you take them and you break them. <laughs> Lovely. Um, but so then he asked, uh, finally, both to Duquesne and Lady Duquesne. Me and Duquesne had a very long and interesting conversation about how 343 uh, Industries uh, could make Halo 5 Guardians a better game than Halo 4. Um, I had an idea of a preference option for maps and game types. Uh, I'll let Duquesne explain it instead of typing it. Uh, is there anything that you would like to see 3 for 3 can do uh, to make Halo 5 a better game and a better experience? So real quick while you're thinking about that, I'll explain kind of what we talked about here. Um, we talked a little bit about like, what he means by the preference options for the maps and game types. Now this is for 
Um, like if you're going into matchmaking, you know how now it'll have something like it'll be a map like Haven and it'll be Infinity Slayer for Halo 4 or it'll be like Haven and Oddball or something like that. Like, but those are the only choices. Like you have Haven, Oddball, and then you have, you know, Haven, Infinity Slayer or something like that. You know, like you don't actually get to choose, like split those game type and the map up uh, type of thing. Uh, so what we thought is... Um, there's an option that you could go into and uh, like the preferences just like how you want to search for people like you can set preferences for uh, you know like a uh, voice people who talk more um, people like just like special little preferences like that mm -hmm. type of thing um, you know people are maybe like more competitive like you can set an option like that but uh, the deal is uh, we thought of you can actually set an option for what game type you want people to go for. Because there's a lot of times you get into a game like let it be if it's an, like an objective playlist. A lot of people may just choose Capture the Flag. doesn't matter what map it is. They'll just choose Capture the Flag because that's what, that's what most people want to play. play or something. And you're like, well, great. I wanted to play mm -hmm. Assault or Oddball or whatever. And there's you know? no preference yeah. to choose. And that's... you can't choose that. You could only vote for Oddball, but everyone else votes for a capture flag and you're like, oh, well, I'm never going to play oddball, mm -hmm. you know? So you can actually set a preference where you're searching for other people who have the preference as oddball, mm -hmm. you know, and stuff. So that's awesome. And you could also do the same thing on maps. So and they really of, don't have something no. like that in place? And so place. you can also set a preference for what maps that you want to play on too. Mm -hmm. uh, and so then whenever you're searching, you match up people with that. And so then whenever you're selecting your deals, Everybody's most likely you'll be playing play. what you want to play. Yeah. And then I also thought of a thing where uh, you select the game type first, you select, select capture the flag, oddball, or whatever first, and then the next screen, you vote on what map it is for whatever game type you selected in the previous mm -hmm. screen. So that way, people don't just be like, oh, I want to play on that map. Doesn't matter what game type it is, I just want to play on that map, mm -hmm. you know? So that's what we thought of. But, um, so do you think anything that they can make it better? Um, I mean... Yeah, I mean, of, co <laughs> of course, I mean, the typical answer from us, I guess, would be Forge, like a terrain editor, and just to put some weather more focus. Effects yeah, weather stuff. effects. Just to put some more... Um, Time of day. Yeah, I was about to say that, day, night. Um, just to put some more, more stuff emphasis into custom on that, to make, it more, to make it more appealing to people, to and so they could be more creative. Because that I mean, was the amazing look at, thing look about... Look at what people already create. Yeah. Imagine the possibilities the, if they put a little more... Yeah, and that was know, the amazing thing about Reach. It. Like, it was such a huge leap in Forge. I mm -hmm. think it was the reason why people were disappointed with Halo 4 is because it wasn't a leap in Forge. Like, it wasn't something drastically better mm -hmm. like how it was between Halo 3 and Reach. Uh, and like, so, I mean, if they really it make still, it drastically better... I mean, I know Race, like the custom maps used to be like a huge, you know... Rage. I mean, is that still the reason why it died really fad? fast? Yeah. Uh, no, because of the fact that uh, three four three until recently, um, not real recently, but like months ago did recently, they, a race they game did type? put an okay. official race game type yeah, because but, they didn't have a race game type in yeah, there. Yeah, but didn't they make it only on like a specific map or something? No, wasn't it like really restricted? No, no. no. Oh, okay, but or, pretty or much was that whenever they were just giving out like a preview because wasn't there one time where that was a playlist oh, okay they had a race playlist for a short time and it was the dumbest uh races ever it, 343 created the races except they didn't create them like how forgers create races no, they, just took, they the just took the, the default mats and put checkpoints on it in and little barriers not, to stop you and that's not a race that's track. not what people wanted that's not a race so you know, you know yeah if, if they kind of give some of yeah. their their race community some love. Yeah. Or just anything. That Customs be, or community. Or just their forge community. Yeah. yeah. That, stuff, would so. be, that would That'd always be, be nice. Because their but, multiplayer and their campaigns, I, I think, is already great. Yeah. Yeah. But um, that is it on all the questions. Uh, if y'all want to ask a question, uh, there's a link down below in the you know description. Uh, so y'all can you know ask your questions and stuff. And what would you think their question should be for this one? What's your favorite theme song? What's your the game? favorite thing? And whistle it in the comments. <laughs> yes, whistle it. Whistle it in the comments. And what is? Oh gosh, I had it in my head. What is your favorite video game quote? There you go. There you go. Yeah. So go ahead and answer those in the comments. Ahead, and you might have to do some research yeah. on that one. And uh, and also say what who is the quote yeah. and what, what game video, is it from and stuff. Just so, just um yeah so help people it. out. 
But uh, yeah, so guys, I hope you all enjoyed this, and we'll see you all next time. Later. Bye.